Hi there everyone, Nate from Six Side Legion here, and we just wanted to do a quick video talking about our 500 subscriber special, and kind of where we're at and where we're going. So today we got Ethan. Hey everyone. We have Blaine. What's up? And Brett. Happy to be here. And as I said, we're just going to kind of a really quick where we came from, how this all started, and where we're going. And kind of the first place I want to touch on is why we even made the channel. This channel has kind of been a passion project for us for the better part of the last few months. It's been something we work on and off of, and it's been a really fun project that we've all kind of gotten together to kind of collaborate on. It all started when I got us into Kill Team. It was an accident. Uh, I didn't ever mean for it to become a obsession like it is, but you know, kind of how the best things start. So I remember I picked up the Octarius box set pretty quickly, like right after it had just come out, because I always loved the Deathcore Krieg, and I'm like, you know what? I can strong arm my friends into playing this. We'll probably do <laughs> one or two games, and it quickly spiraled downhill, and we're at the point where we have just about every team that exists. It took a little bit. It took a little bit to get everyone yeah, it, it took a little bit of coercing, um, but, <laughs> but yeah, originally there wasn't much interest outside of the group other than me, but it, it's very quickly developed to be a hobby and a passion that we all really enjoy. And when it comes to forming the channel, Brett can talk about that. So what do you think? Yeah. So I don't, I don't remember exactly when it was, but I, I remember after Nate got us into it, you know, watching things on YouTube and thinking how cool battle reports were. And I just remember thinking that I felt like there was a little bit of a gap in the content, maybe in the kill team community. And I thought, mm -hmm. wouldn't it be cool if me and my friends could get together and try to make something like we've always talked about doing. So that's when I kind of pitched the idea to Nate. And then I think we just kind of everybody got, you know, interested and we started starting trying put stuff together because i mean we at the time i don't think we had too much going for us and we had very rough ideas but no it was a real struggle in the beginning I remember. yeah i mean it still is it really is but <laughs> um you know at least we got the ball rolling and uh you know we're slowly making stuff happen yeah so we had it, always talked about having group projects and like coming up with ideas and things that we wanted to do and then do some light planning but we never really followed through on a whole lot so like, this is kind of like something that once we started it enough i felt like everyone was dedicated enough to like you know actually keep going with it um i know nate you know you've had the most ideas over the years yeah it really quickly became just like a wouldn't it be fun like one of those pipe dreams that everyone kind of talks about and then just the ball kind of started rolling and that's all it really needed. And we all just became really, really excited for it. Yeah. And with that came a lot of changes in like how we ended up doing things. Um, you can easily watch the first battle report and then, you know, the second and the third and the fourth. And there's something different about all of them. It's either something that we changed in how we were recording it or how we were editing it. Um, yeah, and even, even simply just, the rules and interactions that we knew playing going in and learning the game as we kind of developed the channel. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, there's always been, yeah, there was some, there was some issues that we had like put in the comments or like had kind of addressed in the video of like a misplay or something like that. Mm -hmm. And we've tried to, you know, really narrow those down to, to keep those things from happening. So you guys are able to get the best. Trying to keep them, trying to keep them really right. minimal and it's even gotten to the point where in the past we've re-recorded entire videos because there's been rules that we've done and then we're like oh we did that completely wrong yeah we've actually we've had two videos now that we've just redone <laughs> um for mm -hmm. just like a myriad of reasons but yeah it, it, it's it's been really great to experience that and just kind of learn as we go um and uh, kind of kind of gain a new set of skills almost from just kind of pushing ourselves to learn this production side of things and like how it'd be best presented for you guys. Yeah, so getting more experience with these tournaments and being able to come in and see, like especially how, how many tournaments that we've been to uh, in the past, 
since starting the channel has allowed us to kind of kind of open up and and not only learn more about the game and better our games on the channels but also it's given us an opportunity to see the impact that our our channel has made a little bit by meeting people who already know us and like before we even know who they are coming up to us and saying hey we really like your channel or i really like this game mm -hmm. when we get to these tournaments like it's it's kind of crazy it's one of the most gratifying things i think is just seeing people and like hey i love your video it's it's just something really cool yeah and that. it's something that we didn't really expect going in like right that to happen so quickly you know this i mean this was well before we were at five, even 500 subscribers people were already real like recognizing us and like we've even ha had experiences at tournaments where like we will tell somebody that we have a YouTube channel and then they get kind of nervous during their game because they think that we're super good or something sure. so it's yeah it's just it's kind of interesting how like the effect that the channel has had on on going to these tournaments and these events um so but Personally, and I know this is, is for some of us at the channel too, uh, maybe not all four of us, but definitely the majority, um, we kind of like going to these events um, and being a little bit more competitive, even in our own battle reports, just to enjoy the, the challenge and enjoy you know, thinking through things and, and the puzzle it has on our minds because it's, it's basically 4D chess and it's super like, interactive and super complex and I think most of us, if not all of us, love that aspect of a tabletop game. Um, I mean, I, I I feel like I speak for the group when I say that. Right. No. I mean, yeah. Going to tournaments, you you'll see a, a player play a team that you know one of us has played against each other. So, like, let's say I'm playing against an orc player, and Nate, you know, Nate has orcs, and now Blaine has orcs. So I've played against those two, but I I play against this other person, and they come up with a completely different strategy, or like. You know, combo that I never saw coming. That's something that's cool that you can experience at tournaments that you might not experience if you just have a group of a couple people playing. You know, they're going to be kind of the same play style. But I feel like like seeing that and and being a part of that has strongly impacted how we play just casually, mm -hmm. as well as as how we play on in the battle reports. You know, like and and that just kind of wraps back around to to developing those skills and in like making our play styles like more unique and therefore getting into those those battle reports like like how we play normally now so but uh i mean yeah that's that's pretty much what i've got um i know brett just recently moved and i'll let him touch up on that yeah, so not not all of our time that we've, you know, been doing this stuff on the channel has been as successful as we would like it to be. Uh, you <laughs> know, we've had a lot of it. hiccups. Yeah, we've had a lot of hiccups um, in the short time that we've been around. You know, we're learning our way around those things. And, and like Blaine said, one of those things was, for example, when I moved, I decided to move a few hours away from the rest of them. Um, so things, you know, became a little bit more tricky to plan and like organize um but you know and for example too you know we all we all work as well we have other jobs some of us are in school so we have a lot of other things going on for us but um we are trying to continue and have like a steady schedule to get things out and keep bolstering the kill team community with more content and hopefully make that positive impact that you know we hope we can continue to to uh, give right. out and I think I think um, at a more consistent level too you know exactly yeah, yeah. Yes. we've we've come Absolutely. up with some plans and some ideas for like how we want to match that consistency with you being gone as well um, with doing things like batch recording and you know pre-planning ahead of time and having that set schedule so one thing we're aiming for for our next batch of videos uh, almost like a season two if you will um, is to have a video out every two weeks a battle report to be specific um, that may include some other things, which the other guys will talk to after this, um, in a little bit here, but, um, with this next batch of four videos that we have ready for you guys, or we're getting ready for you guys, uh, we're changing up the, the style of how we not only record, but edit these, 
uh, for our sake, as far as like time wise, and then also just to be more engaging, something a little bit quicker, um, something a little bit more concise, and then just having some better visuals to uh, really match what we have. Um, and that that includes learning some different programs and uh, um, just kind of gauging what you guys think of these videos. And, you know, along the way, we're going to be learning new things as well. So um, just continue to... And some of that some of that extra content, too, that, that Ethan's referring to is, uh, you know, obviously we've posted tournament talks and things in the past. Um, we are looking to, of course, do more of those, especially including potentially, you know, including people from yeah. those tournaments if we can. Um, so that's going to include those same talks um, as well as, you know, trying to get more of us out there. So that way you can see, you know, other people from the channel's faces in these videos and um, get them up there, you know, intermingling with the Kill Team community. Right. Um, otherwise, we've got some other stuff planned as well. Yeah, and one of those things, or some of the things we're considering is um, doing a podcast. We have a lot we would love to talk about. And one of the issues that we kind of found after doing a lot of these reports is we can only get so much of each other in these reports. I mean, Kill Team is a 1v1 game. There's only two people in it, and there's four people in these teams. So we're trying to find formats where you can get a little bit more of just us as a group kind of hanging out because this is not only like our passion but this is our hobby as well and enjoying it together and as a team is kind of really what makes this for us so some of the ideas that we have is we're really interested in doing a podcast we're still kind of ironing out ideas but we're hoping to put out if everything goes to schedule doing one a month and it just kind of being semi-short format and us just talking you know talking about certain aspects of the game or teams or we got a ton of different ideas with nothing really narrowed down right. yet, but we have some ideas and that's another one instance of something we want to do. I kind of give you guys a, a better view of like us as friends as well. Um, Cause we've all been friends for a long time. That might be, you know, it, it's hard to get mm -hmm. some of that dynamic in a battle report, you know, when you got two people behind the camera, two people on the camera. So yeah, um, there's a lot of structure at play. Right, right, right. So this will be a little bit, a little bit less structured kind of format. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing we've been talking about is doing kind of once a month at near the end doing like hobby videos because there's a lot of hobby that goes into this. There's painting terrain, teams, um, learning the teams. There's a whole lot that we would really like to delve into because um, it, it really is a big part and I can't speak for everyone, but personally, it's my favorite part of the hobby is I love the building, the painting of terrain and uh, teams. I really, really enjoy it. So we have a few ideas when it comes to just really using it as a motivational force for us because, you know, we kind of get a team painted up for a battle report, but there's kind of almost a pressure for us to get a video out. It's kind of works as some... Yeah, I think I think personally too, and I've said this before, and I'm pretty sure I've said it even on the channel before, um, but I am not a super motivated person to like paint up teams or terrain or anything. Um, and having... The battle reports or a tournament be that that pushing force to get me to to paint something um is like the only thing that's ever gotten me to to paint up a team so any anything that i have painted up has already been on the channel or been in a tournament before uh i don't have any recreational stuff that i've painted up um so like like you said nate having mm -hmm. even having that hobby aspect of the channel just to push the the motivation through and get you know stuff painted up stuff built that we normally wouldn't um you know it's uh it it would be nice a nice little add on i guess added bonus so um but i mean in i guess we're looking at also doing some custom terrain maybe and and you know Brett, if you want to kind of touch up on that um yeah yeah so yeah, that was just a potential idea. You know, I was thinking for some hobby stuff. Um, just broad idea of taking some already, you know, what what we have from GW for Kill Team Terrain and potentially taking it, modifying it ourselves, making something that's a little bit, you know, more unique, at least something interesting to look at at the very least. Um, and then also using those in our battle reports. Um, so that way you guys can see plenty of that as yeah, well. Yeah, that's something we found as a team that, 
when it comes to bell reports, everyone kind of uses the same train that's out there. So kind of being a little bit more creative and adding a little, just a little bit extra production value to our bell reports is something we're really interested in. I think also not all the, the terrain that GW puts out is like able to be used in a yeah. kill team game because of certain certain aspects that just aren't there or you know wh for whatever jumping. reason so more being jumping terrain yeah <laughs> more jump tests <laughs> right. nobody uh -huh. in the history has done a jump test <laughs> um but just having our like being able to put our ideas and stuff and make terrain that we think is going to be super not only only super entertaining for you guys watching but also like very like i guess structural structurally sound uh, when it comes to the mechanics of the game. And with that, I think we've done enough rambling for you guys in this one episode. But uh, I think, yeah, do you guys have anything else you want to add on the way out? No, I think um, overall we just really want to thank you guys for staying engaged and for checking us out. It's, you know, as we said before, it's it's hugely awesome to... You know, talk to people both in the comments and in person about mm -hmm. what we're doing. Honestly, just a, a big thank you to everybody who supported yeah. us through this, right? Like all the subs, yeah, all the sure. shares, like anybody who's who's commented and asks asked questions for that in, interactivity, right? Like just you know, you guys are are the subscribers, right? You guys boost the channel, so it's it's kind of cool to to be able to interact with you guys in this way. Um, and just, you know, get, you know, input and, and ideas from other people, too. Because, you know, as much as, as Six-Sided Legion is just the four of us here, we, we definitely love everybody who, who asks for certain things or, or, you know, has input on, on different things for the, the channel. So Yeah, for sure. We certainly take it into consideration. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to, like, comments about uh, different teams and stuff you want to see as well, we say at the end of every battle report, um, we've had some people give some recommendations and we've filmed some stuff for it as well. So we, we like to engage in that way as well. But in the end, we just want to thank you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Keep a lookout for season two of our stuff here and then maybe some podcast and hobby stuff in the future.